Alright, uh, Shalom. Before we get into our lesson, we're going to start off giving our praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. And Shalom, and double honors, I mean, double salutation to the Akim that's on the highways and byways, the, the hopefully elect. Now, this is brothers from the great millstone, Charlotte Camp, coming at you with another lesson. Once again, the message to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, man, and who the world only called God, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus Christ, is only dealing with the nation of Israel, man, starting off with the elect. You know, so basically, man, we're going to get into a, a lesson about, you know, how the Lord set up men to preach this word, man, to warn the, to warn the people out there, whether they here or forbid, man. The, the one, mainly our people, man, and you know, we out there, you know, looking for the elect, man, you know, we praying that we part of the elect, that we out there on the highways and byways and doing the, doing the work of the Lord and pushing these videos, man, but those, you know, that, that, that not taking heed to you, how about you, man, shall word, man, their destiny is going to be destruction, man, and they're going to be part of the two-thirds, man, because the Lord is not coming back to save all Israel, man, He only coming to save a few of his men and of his people, man, the, the elect men, 144,000 and the one third, which can make up the uh, the kingdom of, uh, of Israel, man. But the two thirds, you know, they're gonna, you know, whether they hear a forbid, man, they're gonna they're gonna die. But the Lord often is gonna have mercy upon them in the kingdom by bringing them back through the elect. But you know, but basically we just got, you know, uh, the Lord is setting the men up to warn the nation of Israel. The, 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 the bring in the elect, the one those that don't want to take heed, and also the one, the heathens, man, to let you some white people know, you so-called white people, you Edomites, and the rest of you heathens, like the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs, the Africans, you know, you, uh, Hawaiian, the Samoans, you know, you East Indian, you Assyrians, Syrians, let you all you know that the Lord is about to come back and bring judgment upon y'all for what y'all done to the nation of Israel and what y'all done unto his word. That y'all about to go into um, captivity, man. So, um, we can start off with Matthew. Yeah. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5. Then, oh, Salaki, these twelve Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. The council, the Lord said, You know, the twelve that Yahweh sent forth, I meaning the twelve disciples. He tell them, do not go into the ways of the Gentile. I mean, that word Gentile right there is talking about the heathens, man. Because they don't go that way into the Gentiles, man. You know, because you got a lot of people thinking that the Lord accepted the Gentile and not knowing that when they look into the words, man, the words that, you know, different words that represent that word Gentile, man. You got the Gentile, which are the, the real heathens, like the so-called white man, the Arabs, the Japanese, the Chinese, the Africans. But also you had the other Gentile meaning Israelites, foreigners, man, those that lost they they custom of being an Israelite, man, losing their custom, you know, uh, from from the law, statute, commandments, and following the ways of the other nations, man. That's why they were considered looking at Gentiles, man. But this here in this in this um, verse right here is talking about the actual Gentiles, man, the real heathens. Verse. Okay, continue on verse five. Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Yeah, you know, because they've been Gentiles too, man. But Samaria was once, you know, ruled by the tribe of Ephraim. But, you know, throughout the, the time when the Assyrians took down the northern kingdom and, and pushed the, the Ephraimites out, which are the Puerto Ricans today, you know, when he pushed the northern kingdom out, you know, they, uh, the, the heathens inhabit that land, man, uh, mainly the uh, the Kushites, man, that the Africans, man, they inhabit that land. The other Lord said, don't go into the inner city of the Samaritans, because the Lord knew that the, the people that was dwelling there in Samaria was uh, was heathens, man. Verse 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Come, so the Lord said, go to the house of Israel, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Those are only, those are the only people that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh care for and going to deliver, man, starting off with the elect, man. Oh, that's right. Let's Verse see. 7. And as ye go, preach, 
saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Oh, so that's what we're doing here today, man. When you see brothers on the highways and byways, man, and putting up these videos, man, we're telling you that the Negro, Latino, Native Americans are the true Hebrew Israelites, and telling you that those that don't want to get down with the program, don't want return, don't that don't want to return to Yahweh and Yahshua, is going to be destroyed, man. And we're telling you that our kingdom is at hand, that Yahweh Shah is coming back to bring down these nations, man, these heathen nations, and set up the nation of Israel with its kingdom, man. You know, can you go to um, that in on that? Um, Matthew, I get Matthew 22. Alright, Matthew, this is Matthew chapter 22, verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you shall find, bid them to the marriage. So the highways represent the streets, man. Those, you know, because also the scriptures say, Wisdom crieth without man, and she utter her voice in the streets, man, in the cheap place of concourse, man. Though you see, majority of the brothers in these big time cities that's on the highways and byways, that's by the, you know, out there preaching the word, but, you know, by uh, what people mainly go out to shop and, you know, eat. And, 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 you know, go out and have a good time, man. But then you're going to find the majority of the people, man. So you're going to have all type of walks of life, uh, uh, all type of people that going to walk by the camp, man. You know, we're going to have people out there that the heathens, to tell the heathens, they judge. You're going to have Jake out there, the Negro, Latino, Native American, to tell them, you know, what's up. They're getting down with the program or they get the same judgment as these heathens. And also you're going to have a few faces out there, man. That, that might, you know, we will have Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, Israelites that might look like a so-called white man or another nation, man, that, that, that might come in and take heed to this word, man. It's not all about the, you know, the, the, the color thing, man. If, you know, um, a heathen, so-called heathen nation come up and say that they bloodline go back, you know, to the, the uh, Irishmen or the different parts of the country with Negro, Latino, Native American to sit at, man. Most likely, man, they, they Israelites, man. That's why the scripture says we got to try the spirit by the spirit, man. Uh -huh. And the, the one thing about this truth, man, when you come in the truth, you become very spiritual. And you can see things, you know, different different from what m the average person can see, man. That's right. And, you know, we know we can look at certain people and how they act and how they, you know, carry themselves, man. We can know we know that they, you know, Israelites, man, or they, they're Hebrews, man. Uh -huh. um, Go ye therefore into the highways. And as many as you find, bid them to the marriage. And that marriage is talking about the kingdom, man. Because the Lord, you know, is about the marriage means join on, join on, like to make, you know, join together, man. You know, so, you know, that's what we doing, man. We join the elect to the uh, to the Lord, man. And praying that we part of that number also. Um, both, uh, verse 10. So those servants went out to the highways and gathered together all many as they find. Proving that we're supposed to go out there to the highways and byways, man, to, to push this word and to gather in the men of the Lord. Uh -huh. And gather and gather together as many as they found, and gather, I mean, both, uh, so like, gather together as many as they found, both bad and good. So that we have, man. We even got some of these people out here that call themselves Israelites, man. You know, they might come into the camp, but really ain't been down with the program, man. They just came in because they seemed like it was something cool. They didn't know the, the real circumstances of what Yahweh Shem Yahshua required, man. They think it's just another so-called trend, and then they out there just doing it for money or doing it for views or doing it, you know, the fraud brothers or basically just niggas and, 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 and faking the funk, man. That was, the Lord said, you know, those that found bad and good, but the good ones, the sincere ones, those are the ones that Yahweh Shem Yahshua is going to deliver, man. Um, so like, ain't that going back to Stony Brown and um, by the wayside? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they can go into it. Yeah, because you're going to have so many people that going to come into the truth. They got, they, they're going to lead the truth because they got too, you know, care and care, careful for this world, man. They start to see, you know, and once you get into the truth, the Lord said, prepare yourself for temptation. Man. Um, you might start losing, you know, money, having hard times, you know, making it. Throughout your daily life, man. Because we know a, a dude was like that, man. He, he gave up the truth because he didn't want to uh, suffer, man. He had his, his, his auntie or his mother coming against him. You know, he, he didn't want to, you know, uh, stop working, finding a job on the weekend. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't come and, he's trying, you know, trying to say that the money 
and he went could have been make it. He didn't. He couldn't give it up because you know it, it was interrupting. Uh, he couldn't go come out like come out and to the camp because that was interrupting his um uh, money, his money man daily life, his daily life man. You see me saying how he, how much hair he been catching while he was in the truth, but soon he you know stopped believing. Uh, he stopped you know doing good and doing better, and not knowing that the Lord you know doing them things, giving them material things to, to blind them for them, to further blind him and, and keep him away from the truth man. So ultimately the Lord can bring judgment upon him man. Cause you know the dude you know he, he knew that he was an Israelite. He heard the camp. He heard the brothers, but now he you know he want to go into different philosophies. You know, he don't want to believe in how about she I was shot. So ultimately, man, the Lord going to destroy him, man. And part of that, um, as many they found, both bad and good. You know, he was of uh, the bad, man. But he didn't just stick it out and do it to the end. How we supposed to do, you know, keep your faith and keep fighting, man. Uh, and the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment, meaning the truth, man. When Yahweh Shah gonna come back, man, you know, you gonna look and see if you got that right garment on, man, that right spiritual garment on, man. You know, you know believing on him, breaking down the scriptures the right way. And you got a lot of these, you know, dudes that in the truth, they call it some Israelites, man. And, you know, they don't have that, you know, they looking at their physical garment. They might have the nice garments and stuff, you know, but they're not, you know, they're not really sincere, man, you know. And not no one had that spiritual garment of knowing like America won't be destroyed. The Lord only dealing with Israel, starting off with the elect. Not you know they don't know that the Lord is gonna destroy the uh, nation of Edom. You so-called white people. They did, they're teaching all different you know false you know false doctrines. You know they in it for you know fortune and fame for vain glory. And and Salaki, that how you can really tell the difference between a, a, a man of the Lord, a real prophet, a prophet. And then a false prophet, man, he just all about money and got the fancy garments and stuff like that. The Lord said we supposed to be low, man, because, I mean, ain't nothing to be happy about, ain't nothing to show fashion, like anything. We, we in captivity, man, we serving a punishment, and by that, you supposed to be sorrowful, man. You supposed to be like, man, I ain't shit, but Lord, just help me. Y'all about Hashem, y'all with Shah, just, you know, just help me. Um, you ain't wanna... You out there in the camp, they ain't really showing no brotherly love, man. And they out there talking about, you know, they with the brothers, but in the back of their mind, they got hate for their brothers, man. You know, not really, you know, sincerely love brothers, man. You know, when you're in the truth, man, you supposed to have love towards, you know, each other, man. And towards mercy. Your, your mercy, you know, grace between you and your brother, man. You're not supposed to be holding no, no grudges or no type of envy or jealousy against your brother, man. You know, you're supposed to know how to forgive each other, man. Uh -huh. You know, that what the Lord like also, man. That was the true brotherly love, man. Also, you know, you just can't say that you brotherly love, man, and don't have uh, compassion or mercy on a brother when something didn't happen, man. You're supposed to be there to, you know, to build each other up, man, and, and fight for each other. Uh -huh. Now, it's a different story if that, if that the brother, you're supposed to so-called, you know, love and have mercy upon, like, being a wicked nigga, man, and, and don't want to, you know, take your apology or can't accept the fact that, you know, you came up to him as a man and, and trying to straighten things out, but he's still holding grudges and stuff. Then when you got to let Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah deal with it. Uh -huh. Now, ultimately, the Spirit of the Lord going to have that brother, you know, kick out the camp or, or kick uh -huh. out the truth, man. Because uh -huh. the Spirit of the Spirit is supposed to not forgive your brother seven times seventy, man. You know, you're not supposed to be holding grudges and stuff um, with, with the brothers, man. But the truth is, and the brotherhood is all we got, man. Uh -huh. You know? Uh -huh. But if a brother out there doing wrong, man, of course, man, he gonna he gonna have to pay for his you know his sinful deeds, man, and he gonna have to be rebuked, man, get on, man. Um, verse um. And and the wedding was furnished with guests, and the king came in to see the guests. He saw there a man which had not on the wedding garment, meaning he didn't have the truth on me. He was he was you know in the in the wedding. He came to the wedding, but he didn't have the wedding garment on me. He didn't have the, the truth. He said unto him, Friend, how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? So the Lord said, How are you gonna come serve him? You calling yourself an Israelite, but well, you don't you're not believe. pushing the, the, the truth and not believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You just in it for vain glory or fame or fortune or you think it's just a, a trend, man, something to do. Not knowing the real attention of why you in the camp. 
and pushing the word of Yah Bashin Yahusha. And and he was speechless. So the look when the Lord, you know, come back and ask these, you know, dudes, especially these fallouts or these fake these dudes that fake in the front man, and the Lord exposed them, man, they're gonna be speechless, man. And verse 13, then said the king to the servant, bend him hand and foot and take him, him away and cast him into utter darkness. So basically, man, that was gonna happen to these most of these dudes, man, that, that fake in the front of most of you know uh, in the camp, man. Uh, ain't truth, Mr. Ain't truly sincere, man. The Lord said they're gonna be cast out, man. And so that darkness, man, meaning they're gonna be cast out the truth, man. And ultimately they're gonna be destroyed, man. They shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So the new weeping and gnashing of teeth meaning they're gonna be a great death and that's gonna come upon them, man. Mainly no nuclear missiles or, 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 or another type of judgment that Yahweh is gonna have for that person, man. For many are called, but few are chosen. So that's why we out there, you know, pushing this word, man. We already know that many people been calling this thing, but only a few gonna make it, man. Now the Lord said, give diligence and make thy calling election sure, man. So we gotta keep, you know, pushing this word, having faith, and doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So we pray that we be part of that few that which are gonna be chosen, man. The 144,000 and the one third, the elect, man. Uh, mm -hmm. you can get precept. Yeah, this the precept, basically, you know, going back. But the brother was in Matthew 22, verse 10, about the servants being on the highways, and basically the servants is prophets. This is Amos chapter 3, I'm going to start at verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, have not done it? So the Lord business said, man, it shouldn't be a trumpet blowing in the city and the people not be afraid. Because, you know, back in the ancient days, when a watchman blow the trumpet, man, that was a, a warning sign to let the people know that uh, the enemy is coming, man. Or uh, something great, drastic was going to take place, man. So that was, that would represent the brothers out there on the highways and byways today. Putting up these shows, man, you blowing that trumpet. One of you people that the Lord is about to come back and bring destruction on America, man. That America is going to fall. America's gonna go into World War Three, and it's gonna be destroyed by a thermonuclear fire. You know, telling you that the so-called white man is the devil. Either he's our enemy, which y'all should know by now through all the history, what he done to the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and let you know that he ain't done yet, man. That he gonna bring martial law. You know, he gonna set up these FEMA camps. He gonna implement this RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. You know, we want to get take, telling you to take heed. But we only we already know that the Lord is only gonna look for the elect, man. And the rest of them that ain't gonna take take heed gonna be destroyed, man. But we don't know who part of the elect, you know, uh, the two thirds. But we got a you know uh, uh, a good idea who part of the elect if we doing the with the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and holding on to the faith. And if you truth is city. But and we know that you know the majority of the people is gonna be two thirds, man, because we see that the ways and their actions when they come toward the truth, man, how they mark us, you know, scoff us. Scorners, a bunch of liars, you know. They tongue, they ready, they ready to talk. They give basically being a fool, man. The scriptures go into that. You, you basically a babbler or anything like that. You basically foolish. It's best, you know, just keep quiet, man. That's why you got two ears and one mouth. You know, listen, take heed. You know, you know, a lot of things that, a lot of things that are wrong with our people, man. They love to, love to talk all the time, man. They don't really like to listen, man. You know, they, they 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 know everything, man. And when you do try to, you know, come out, you know, and tell them what the, the real thing is, man, they think they know more than you. Even when you cut them and tell them that they they, they wrong, man, they still got that pride, mm -hmm. thinking that they they right, man. Uh, verse mm -hmm. seven. Verse seven. Amos chapter three, verse seven. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. So that's why, hey, Abarat Desire, man, we be those men because, you know, he revealed it unto us through Great Millstone, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, you know, elder, you know, Apostle Tahar, Elder Tahar, Rob Love, and, you know, the other apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, man, they teach us everything that we know through the spirit and power mm -hmm. of Yahweh, 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 man. Mm -hmm. Like, word. I'm going to get on... Um this is on uh, 2 Corinthians 
chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So, you know, knowing, because we in the truth, man, we know the terror of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, We already know what he about to do to the majority of our people, man. We already know what he about to do to America, what he going to do to the so-called white man, how much, you know, uh, judgment and disaster he going to bring here in America. We already know he going to bring a famine, you know, the pestilence, you know, the set of the so-called white man to bring his martial law. He going to have military troops. You know, uh, uh, foreign troops all throughout the, the land or the cities of America, man, murdering and, and, and destroying our people, man, FEMA camps, you know. And ultimately, man, we already know that Lord going to bring great destruction on America by the ways of the nuclear missile, man. So that's why we out there, you know, trying to persuade man, man, by telling them the truth and telling them to take heed, man. But the Lord is coming back to bring great judges, man, and, and bring terror upon these people, man. Um... Uh, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and our trust also are made manifest in your conscience. So, you know, we trust in Yahweh, Bashi, Yahweh, that he deliver us from all this, this, this uh, wickedness and the great judgment that's about to take place here in America, being that, being that America is going to be destroyed, man. So, you know, that's why we out there, like I said, persuading the men and telling these people to get right, man, and uh, the, ultimately to the, the wipe the blood off our hands. And also trying to, to save our own our own soul, man. I'm glad you say that out because it's um got a precept. Ezekiel chapter three verse. I'm gonna start at sorry, seventeen. Seventeen times. Son of man, I made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. So though the Lord set us up for the do, man, start from our apostles and elders on, and the brothers on down, man. He set us up to be that watcher, man, and that, uh, they go out there and give warning to the nation of Israel and also to the to the heathens also, man, so by, by his mouth, man, by his spirit, man. Well, how we do that, man, by coming out the Holy Scriptures, man, breaking them down and telling you people what the Lord has set forth for what that, that was going to take place here in America, man, and what's going, you know, Come upon these people, man, telling them that uh, death and destruction is coming, man. Not no lovely, lovely time, man. How these churches teach, man. Only time, the only thing that gonna come, mercy and grace are gonna come to the nation of Israel, the elect, man, 144,000 and one third. But the rest of the world, man, gonna be destroyed, man, and, and, and enslaved, man. Uh, uh, continue on, verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. So, you know, we're supposed to go out there, you know, and tell the wicked people, man, you know, Jake out there, uh -huh. the, the, uh, let's turn from their wicked ways, man. You know, uh, and hopefully they come come, come in and leave off their sinful life, man, to be part of their elect, man, to try to, you know, seek salvation. But if we don't tell him, man, the Lord going to, you know, hold us accountable for it, man. That's right. Um, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. And because the Lord going to require that blood, you know, of that wicked person, man, on our hand, man. Because we, we know the truth. We're supposed to know better, man. We're supposed to warn him and tell him, you know, we'll, um... What about to happen, man? And you got a lot of Israelite camps out here that not pushing the, you know, the destruction that the Lord is going to bring, man. They out here telling Jake that everything will be all right. You know, prosperity and America's going to keep going and trusting your, trusting your, you know, your, your career and all that, man. Not telling the people that the Lord, you how about you, y'all shot bring about to bring destruction to this place, man. So for them doing that, man, the person who, you know, get caught up in their lives, man, they're going to die. And also, the person who's supposed to know better than warn them, but still this telling them smooth thing, they also going to die, man. Uh, basically, and not knowing the name of the Lord. Uh, continuing on, verse 19. Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his way, nor from his wicked way, his, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou has delivered thy soul. Okay, so we go out there and tell these people the, 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 what the Lord is about to do, man. Warning them the right way 
how the Lord tell us to go out there and, and, and warn them, man. You know, if they don't take heed, man, they're going to die. But we did our job, man. We doing what the Lord requires us to do, man. And for since we know hell on and tell the truth to them and warn them and do the right thing, the Lord going to deliver our soul, man. When, when Yahweh Shah come back and deliver us um, by the ways of the chariots, man. Or by the spiritual power. Or even if we had to die in the faith, man. As long as we continue doing the right, just the right things, and we have to be martyrs in the truth, man, in this right. faith, the Lord gonna raise the neck up, raise that man up anyway, man, because, you know, he did it what he supposed to do, man. And the Lord ain't gonna forget our works, man, if we die in the, in the truth, man. We're gonna be the first one that's gonna be risen up with Yahweh Shah, and he come back to redeem the rest of, of the elect. All right. All right. Um, you got something? Um, this is just a little, little like backup. Basically, it's the compact, the Zaytoven Compact Bible Dictionary, and I just wanted to look up it on um, prophecies and prophet, a spokesman for the Most High. Old Testament prophets were not interpreters of the Most High's will. They uttered the actual words which the Most High gave them. Oh, so that proof right there that the Lord, you know, even though He chose the men, the Lord put the Spirit on the man right. to 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 bring forth this, the words, man, to write right. down these scriptures, man. But you got you had a lot of our, a uh, lot of the prophets in the scriptures in the Bible. You know, they wrote down, they write down these scriptures, but sometimes they they didn't understand them, man. Right. They just did what the Lord told them to do. But now the time coming that the prophets back here today. Now they're getting that understanding, you know, seeing the full thing. But you got a lot of, you know, prophets in the scriptures that they are, the Lord show them a vision, they write it down, but they didn't understand it. And the angel had to um, break it down to them, man, telling, telling the um, prophet, the prophecy, man. And that's what we have here today, man. You know, we, we got to understand it by the spirit of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh And, con, and um, prophet, that basically means to say before, uh -huh. basically. And, like, when the Lord did that, that basically, like, they didn't understand that because it wasn't really somewhat during that, that time. Mm -hmm. It had to be like future tense. That's why mm -hmm. in this time and age we understand that because we living through it, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. um, continuing on. They utterly... Okay, so lots of Two aspects to their work. Foretelling and foretelling they were True and false prophets, you know, just giving a little information. Okay, so you, you got false prophets today that are not telling the truth, man, breaking down the scriptures the right way, man. No, but we know they false, man, because we got to understand it. We not understanding how the Lord, you know, gave us the spirit to break the scriptures down. So when we go into a scripture that they go off, go off on, man, we understand that they false prophets because they're not breaking it, breaking it down right, man. Uh -huh. And instead of they taking you know, the rebuke, reproof, and correction, I had the scripture say, man. They continue on teaching their lies, man. All right, it's the last little bit of it. It says, The prophets of the Old Testament were of two kinds. The former who wrote an interpretative history of the background of the period in which the great writing prophets lived and worked. The latter also called writing prophets. Um, so he's basically saying that time, like, during that time you had prophets that root the scriptures that, that apply to during that time, mm -hmm. that time period, and also they got future prophets, meaning they uh -huh. wrote the time, but future kingdoms and prophecies that were going to take place, like, in the last days, mm -hmm. like, we we in now, man. That you get that um, word, latter, you know, latter, L-A-T-T-E-R. And that was it on that, you get a precept or something. Um, I'm gonna bring two more scriptures up. Get on um, Jeremiah 23 and 3. Alright, come on. Start up in 1. Okay, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. My pasture. 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 Salaki. 
saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, counsel, that word woe means destruction to them, the pastor that, you know, scattered and destroyed the Lord's uh, sheep, man. Represent the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, the Israelites, man. But you got a lot of our people that, you know, that he falls prophets or pastors, mainly Christianity, you know, baptism or Methodist or uh, Islam, because they consider as false prophets too, man. Uh, uh, you know, Egyptology, Kemet, you know, uh, uh, these, some of these uh, leaders like, you know, uh, rap industry or, uh, or follow these different false leaders, they ain't leading them the right way. And they ain't leading them through the spirit of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Even amongst these false camps out here, they're calling themselves Israelites, but they ain't telling the people the, the truth, man. They'll tell the people they're Israelites, but not telling the people the name of the Lord. Or uh, the script about destruction of America, or uh, breaking out these scriptures the right way for the person, enemies. the enemy. And the time, you know, the, even they might know some some of these things, they, they don't want to push them because the Lord ain't really he ain't, they ain't dealing with them, even though they might hear about it, but they don't want to push it because the Lord, ain't, like I say, ain't, ain't ain't dealing with them spiritually, man. All they want to do is gain money and fame and you know and glory. Uh, verse two. Therefore. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Uh, and that we, you, you, got, you have, man. They scattered the flock, man. Because the Lord said, He that, Lord said, those that are against, against me scatter the flock. But those that with me, they, you know, basically they, they, they feed and they and gather in the flock, man. You know, so if you ain't teaching Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, the name of the Lord and His Son, you ain't teaching the, the, the true prophet, prophet, prophecies mm -hmm. you know, about America and what will take place in Jacob trouble, man. You're scattering the people farther uh -huh. and forward, man. You're not bringing them close to their power, man. Uh -huh. um, behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. The Lord going to visit those false prophets, man. And he's going to destroy them, man. Like I always say, man, the Lord, you know, even the Lord say he's just set up the deceiver and the deceive, man. Because ultimately the Lord used a wicked person, you know, the, the you know, the, the, to go against another wicked person. So the Lord can justify destroying both of them, man. Uh, you know, because the Lord you know, knows who he wants, man. The Lord says his sheep hear his voice, man. So ultimately those false prophets were set up to deceive and, and lie to the wicked, the wicked jakes, man, that, ain't, that the Lord... Don't want, don't want, man. But for them doing that, the Lord gonna be justified destroying that false prophet and those that take heed, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ultimately, the people that being deceived, man. You know, even though the Lord put the spirit on to be deceived, ultimately they they like hearing them things from them, mm -hmm. them false prophets anyway, man. That they that they spirit, basically, yeah. Because uh -huh. when, when you when they listen to a real prophet, man, they they show them, man. They don't want to take heed to them, so they better hear the false prophets anyway, man. And so the Lord going to be justified to destroy that false prophet and the people that follow that false prophet, man. Uh -huh. Like I always say, like, you know, killing two birds with one stone, man. The Lord going to take out the wicked person, the one that's doing the wickedness and the one that's following the wickedness, man. Uh -huh. Verse 3. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them and will bring them again to their fold. And they shall be fruitful and increase. Uh, so that basically the Lord said so he's going to gather the, the remnant. The remnant going right. to the elect, man. 144,000 and one third of the nation of Israel, man. Uh, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans. That was the, the Lord only going to come back and deliver, man. Those that believe on his son, Yahweh Shah, and believe on him and his word and take heed to the true men that's pushing his word. Right, um, verse 4. Verse 4. Verse 4. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them. Uh, that was the Lord done, man. Starting with the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and the brothers on down, man. We feeding the the elect, man. These people out here praying that we part of the elect, but those the Lord only gonna deal with, man, and gonna uh, seal up in due time and and, uh, and deliver, man. Because those are the, those are the people that the only the Lord is concerned about, man. The nation of Israel, they're, they're starting off with the elect. Uh, um, continuing on, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, 
neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Ultimately, the Lord is going to deliver us and give us the kingdom of heaven and everything that we desire in righteousness, man. You know, get in on that. I'm going to get on the last scripture. This is 2 Edges, chapter 1. I mean, 2 Edges, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Because we've been going into the word prophecy meaning to say before. To say something before it takes place, man. Uh, Which I will put in thy mouth, say Yahweh, the Lord, from want to put the, the, uh, the prophecy, the spirit on us to speak these things, man. But we're speaking it to you people, man. Start from our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and other, you know, brothers that's out there pushing the, the word, as the, you know, the true word, as the Lord, you know, got it written down. And breaking it down the right way, man. Uh, verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So every word that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh got in the scriptures, man, are faithful and true. And going to come to pass, man. So the destruction of America is going to come to pass, as known as Babylon the Great, man. Um, verse 3. Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the equal duty of them trouble thee. So, you know, we're not supposed to fear with these, you know, these scoffers and these scorners. And the equal duty means unbelief, man. You know, unbelievers, man. We're not supposed to let that fear us, man. Because we got the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And we know what, you know, time we in, man. We know that what they're doing they're ultimately going to lead to their they death and their destruction, man. Um, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithful, unfaithfulness. So, all those that don't want to believe, man. We ain't worrying about the heathens, man, because the Lord going to destroy them anyway. Unless they Israelites, they bloodline, go back to the uh, Negro, Latino, Native Americans. Well, in that case, they'll make up the, the two-thirds, man. And the, and the ones that look like the, the average Negro, Latino, Native Americans that don't want to take heed, they're going to die also in their unfaithfulness, man. So y'all about some y'all shot don't care, you know, if you take, I mean, if you don't take heed, man. Because ultimately, the Lord going to do his, do his will, man. But those that taking heed, you know, praying that we part of that elect, man, and keep fighting and do it to the end. But the Lord, you know, like I said, set up his prophets, man. Start with the, the men of great millstone and those that follow the, the ways of uh, great men, great millstone through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, man, the true doctrine, man. So, you know, brothers out there, you know, keep fighting and keep pushing, man. The Lord is surely about to bring America down and, and raise up the nation of Israel, man, starting off with the elect, man. So, you know, the next time, you know, we're going to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakaq Kadash, and double honors to the apostles, the elders, and great millstone that rule well. And Shalom to the house of David, Baal, Dawadah, Shalom Shalom